Happy Final Fantasy Friday, everybody. Uncle Wooly here for part uh, 11 of Final Fantasy 16. Welcome in. Good to see you all. Arthur, GG's on first. Good to see you, my friend. Hopefully you're having a, a wonderful week so far. It is great to see you. Uh, looks like you're going to do a lurk. I appreciate that, dude. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Always good to see you. We are now up to day 15 of the advent calendar from our good friends at BrewDog Brewing. And uh, that means we do have a advent calendar beer today. I will not be drinking this one on stream today, but figured I'd show it uh, regardless. It has a tagline of live fast and drink slow. This one is called Elvis Juice, and it is a grapefruit infused IPA from BrewDog Brewing and it clocks in at 6.5%. So we're gonna enjoy that one a little bit later today. Not, not on stream, of course. And I don't have to go to the office today, so we will have a little bit of a longer Final Fantasy Friday today, and uh, it will be the last Final Fantasy Friday of the calendar year. We'll be rejoining you with more Final Fantasy 16 uh, in 2024. That is just so weird to say. I do take a couple weeks to go visit family and uh, spend time with relatives and enjoy the holiday season. Uh, so streams will be taking a bit of a break um, after Monday's stream uh, next week. So we did finish Wind Waker on Wednesday. Uh, so what we have left for streams this year, uh, tomorrow we do have a charity stream. We will be doing more Kingdom Hearts Super Bosses and the Platinum Trophy Hunt tomorrow, along with uh, some marbles, some Jackbox games, and possibly um, some heart container side questing in Wind Waker, uh, if time allows. Uh, but that's going to be tomorrow. We are doing that charity stream for the National Children's Alliance, which is called the NCA. And uh, they really help out kids get out of uh, abusive situations and help them uh, get on a path to recovery so they can be kids. Because that's uh, you know, a pr pretty important thing for kids to be able to just be kids, you know. So that's, uh, that's what's on the agenda tomorrow. If you can join us, it's going to be a long stream, so it should be a fun one. Uh, if you can't make it, I totally understand. It's a busy holiday season. Uh, so any uh, awareness that you can spread or uh, lurks or any of that, greatly, greatly appreciated. And also, it is a trying time financially for a lot of people. So if you don't have the means to donate, please don't. Uh, just spread awareness if you can. Uh, but if you do have the means to donate, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. And that is going on tomorrow. We're going to start at 9 a.m. Central Time. So that's what uh, we're looking at for that. And then also we have one more uh, Elden Ring stream on Monday. So Monday night, we're going to get down with some more Elden Ring. And who knows? I might do a long one then too. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to do as long as Wind Waker because we stayed up till past 4 a.m. yesterday. And that was uh, a bit much. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of puppies before we jump into some gameplay here. Oh, man, we had Charlie in the cloud, too. And then he uh, he decided to move. Was it you, Lucy? Were you being nice to him? <laughs> of course she was. Of course she was. She's a good girl, after all. Hey, Twani. Quick hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Also, hello, uh, Panda. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Giving you just a little bit of puppy cam before we uh, kick things off today. Yeah, I think Lucy was being a bully and uh, pushed Charlie out of his bed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? I don't know. I don't know. Good morning, everybody. We'll lift you a big hearty cheers from the coffee cup, and uh, we'll get going on some Final Fantasy 16. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And uh, now that we've got some more people here too, I did want to mention that uh, we are doing a charity stream tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. Central Time. And if you can join, uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, no obligation to donate, uh, but it, it is for the National Children's Alliance, which helps uh, kids get out of abusive uh, situations and kind of get on the path of just being a kid again. So that's kind of uh, what we're uh, all about tomorrow, if you can join us. Uh, we're doing some Kingdom Hearts and some community games, and maybe, if time allows, some Wind Waker heart container uh, side quest kind of stuff. 
Um, no. 20. Uh, Panda has not been a menace. Uh, Panda has been a very enjoyable and kind person. Uh, so I don't know where you heard that. <laughs> I'm not sure where you heard that. Uh, I'll give you some prelude music as well. I just love the Final Fantasy games so very much, and their prelude music is uh, just top notch, regardless of which game it is. I don't know. Can I can I believe you on that twenty? <laughs> can I believe you on that? All right, let's get our game loaded up here. We are at level twenty nine at Bolts from the Blue, and we are. Uh, at our 14th save. Man, I love these uh, these little uh, sprites here. Oh my goodness, Panda. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub to 2020. Enjoy uh, ad-free viewing and the emotes for the rest of the year and a little bit into uh, uh, 2024. Panda, thank you very much for that gifted sub. My goodness, you are too sweet. You are too sweet. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna say. So give us some hearts in chat for uh, for Panda, please. Um, speak with Otto, okay. I'm trying to think of where I left off last week. Oh yeah, we left off. We took down uh, Kupka, who got carried off by somebody. And now we're uh, gonna see what's going on here. Otto, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Uh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Of course we are. <laughs> Mid. When did you get back? Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all <laughs> right. You win. Uh, yeah, you'll hear a lot of that in this game, 20. There is a lot of... Uh... Of the British accent and a lot of the uh, some folks that sound like they're from Yorkshire, which is uh, not not a bad thing. <laughs> How long will you be staying this time? Don't know, a while most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid, you can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <laughs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. <laughs> what a string of uh, words there. I'll take that as a compliment. I do like the reference um, with Mid and uh, our character going under the moniker of Sid is a definite reference uh, to Final Fantasy IV for those that uh, aren't familiar. And also, uh, I think five as well, where they had Sid and Mid. School work lurk. Hey, enjoy, Twani. Have a wonderful day. Good luck with all of your tasks. And if we don't see you uh, before the end of stream, have a wonderful weekend. And I don't know if you're on my auto shout out or not. So let's uh, go ahead and take care of that while we're at it. <laughs> let's go ahead and give you one of these. Uh, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy, enjoy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Clive, you heard the professor. So 
I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. <laughs> Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. <laughs> the storm was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. What a braid, too. I, I swear everybody in the Final Fantasy... Uh universe is hair goals i mean <laughs> i can't imagine how long of hair you need to make a braid uh that size it's just uh it's got to hurt your head like the amount of pressure that's got to take you took your time i'm a busy man mid i'll get to the point then i want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one i had at dad's place mid You've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's sick at sea now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> first things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need, and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Yeah, aught else is definitely, um... Where to start? Is definitely... Interior. And tools. British English. It's Karen and Blackthorn. I love this uh, universe they've created for this game. It's just so well done. There's just so much character and life and everything just built into it. Jill looked white as a sheet when we came. Let's talk to Karen first. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Noxious vapors that spilled from the cracks around a certain door in Sidolphus Tailman's Deadland Hideaway would sting the eyes and burn the nose of anyone who strayed too close. Combining every ingredient on this list would no doubt produce a similar result. <laughs> Think you can find everything on there? Uh... This lot. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Right. And Blackthorn. Blackthorn, you busy? Was always. It like? <laughs> I have a commission for you from Mid. She requires certain tools. A supply kit. Uh, sketches of ineffable devices seemingly drawn from the pages of a mad alchemist notebook in a list of the equally exotic alloys from which such things are smithed. 
or smithied. I don't know on the uh, pronunciation there. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Right. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Oh man, if we get an airship, I'm gonna be so excited. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolf's available. No, so we basically need to go down. So we need to go here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Or maybe this is the right way. Maybe it's not. We'll find out. Oh, lovely fragrance. Maybe this isn't the right way. Yep, that's not the right way to go. It's okay because the music at the hideaway is so pleasant. Hello. How's it coming along? Uh, nearly there. Just need to get these last four. You were born in Russell, if I knew. Must be hard. Yes. What's Med doing? Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? down this way or are they down by the uh haven't you heard mids back things are about to get okay they're down by the dock so we need to go this way and those unfamiliar with the other games too uh mid always seemed to be a uh blonde as well so it's uh, it's cool they're giving that nod to uh, the mid characters of uh, Final Give Fantasy Past. Should be enough to keep. How do, Master Sid? Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. Oh, yeah, the guy that built the bridge for us. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Well, we are off to uh, Martha's Rest. You know what we should do? We should acquire this uh, side quest while we're at it. Because if that's in Martha's Rest, then we can knock out two quests with one trip. Hey, Shadow, welcome in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday, and it's good to see you. Cheers, my friend. I appreciate that. We like to get festive around here this time of year. I did catch uh, part of your message uh, on Mattis' stream yesterday. Uh, I think you said you had a doc or doctor or dentist appointment today. If you've already been, uh, hopefully it's gone well. But if you need to go later, uh, wishing you the best with that. I'm, I'm not much of a fan of either, <laughs> going to the doctor or the dentist. Uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, 
I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. Okay. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. I think we can do something about that. Learn to grow it here. You might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... <laughs> yeah. And actually, that's a good thing, because we are going to be in the duchy on on other business. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as, as goblins, goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget... I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. <laughs> Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Of course. The root of the problem. I like the uh, quest names in this, too. I wish you the best of luck with that, Shadow. I'm assuming that you've already got a root canal done uh, prior to the crown, so it should be kind of less of a pain. And I don't know kind of what your dentist procedure is, but I know mine placed like a temporary crown, which uh, which feels weird, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so I've I've had a root canal and crown placed before. Definitely know what that feels like. <laughs> uh, so wishing you the best, dude. But uh, the root canal is the hardest part. Yeah, what's cool is they do some 3D imaging um, anymore, uh, at least at our dentist. And because my crown popped off during a recent cleaning in the last year, and they had to fashion me a new one. And they were able to do a 3D scan of uh, the existing one and make one exactly like it, which was pretty neat. And good morning, plummies. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Hopefully you got some good rest. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Okay, so our main quest is at Martha's Rest, and so is our uh, side quest. But uh, anything dental is extremely expensive, even if you have insurance. Uh, Thank you for sticking with us. Thankfully, my insurance covered about half of my crown, replacement crown, because uh, had I had to pay for that all out of pocket, it would have been something stupid, like $1,200. So luckily, I only had to pay half of that, but I mean, that's still a lot of money. It's still a lot of money. Oh, I should. And it, it's mind-blowing to me that, that countries that do have um, single-payer health care or, uh, you know, national health care, um, that they don't... Uh, that they don't have uh, dental included. Cause I, and vision and stuff like that, too, because I feel like that's necessary. <laughs> Aren't that fancy here? At least not for NHS dental work. Okay. No, that's fair. And the molds, like, you know, a good dentist, oh, she's near the end. they'll do Let's see if they're damp plenty, uh, plenty good enough job with just uh, a good mold. Stay down. Ah! 
My goodness, Clive. <laughs> Violent. There we go. Basic checkups for teeth and eyes, but anything beyond that? Okay. Still, that's nice, though. Like, uh, the basic checkup, does that include, like, a, a cleaning once or twice a year? Because if so, that's, that's pretty good. You certainly wasn't wrong about them being attracted to the flowers, though. Literally the size of Goblin's eyes. <laughs> What a name. Gigas uh, Plowswain. What a name. What? Why am I out of battle? Well, it's good that some of that's covered. Uh, for basic uh, maintenance, because that helps prevent the other stuff. But uh, I know places like Canada, with our friends to uh, the north of the U.S., uh, they don't have uh, dental included in their health insurance, so or their national health coverage. So it's quite expensive for dental work in Canada. Save all my uh, icon abilities for the stagger. how Torgal has some magic abilities now. That's pretty cool. There we go. Well, that's a way to finish things off. There we go. There's some Morgan Beard. Bright yellow. These are our Morgan Beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. Well, there's something familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins.
good girl. Yeah, let's take the chocobo ride back to uh, the rest. I suppose we could always warp to the obelisk too, but uh, where's the fun in that? Where is the fun in that? Thanks, girl. Oh. All right, let's take care of this, I guess. <laughs> what the hell is this thing doing out of the What level are we? Because we're not doing much to this guy at all. Hey, Rant, welcome in. Good morning. Hope the hack and slashing is going well. It is so far. <laughs> Happy Final Fantasy Friday. It is good to see you. How is uh, Simpsons Hit and Run? Um, my goodness. I haven't heard much about that game in a long time. But hopefully it's treating you well. I have nostalgia for a lot of the old Simpsons games. To me, boy. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button indeed. We are in a bad way. I think we just need the limit break for the healing factor here. Gonna be tough. Started yesterday, not played it since I rented it originally from Blockbuster, so uh, practically a first time look. That's fun. <laughs> Oof, that was close. There we go. There's our mini stagger. Hoping that would get us to full stagger status, but I guess not. There we go. There. Oh, I could have swore I skipped that one. Oh, 
boy. Nice try. This is a tough battle here. Let's try. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Get out of there, Clive. have to use that limit break soon, but I'm going to hold off. Hey, Bahama, good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. Oof, close. Nope. Now there, Clive. He is just skating all over the place. Nice try. We're almost, uh, almost to the mini stagger point. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm doing good this morning, Bahamut. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. And 16 is going amazing. Uh, but that's kind of per usual for this game. It is just so good. got him. <laughs> What's funny is I started stream this morning roughly the same time I stopped stream on Thursday morning. <laughs> and that's because I uh, stayed up way too late on Wednesday night playing Wind Waker. <laughs> but we did finish uh, Wind Waker on Wednesday which was a lot of fun. Highly recommend that game to anybody that's a fan of the Zelda series. Or really a good way to get into the game, too. Yeah, great game to get into that series with. Uh, come on, dude. If you could just... Hurry up and die, that would be nice. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. 
feel you there with staying up late. Uh, I stayed up a bit too late playing Genshin Impact last night. That's fair. <laughs> totally understand that. It's fun to stay up late playing games, though. Sometimes you need to do that. Valisthean prospectors have yet to locate a source of naturally occurring electrum, uh, the only known samples coming from the remains of fallen automata. This has led some to surmise the metal is not, in fact, naturally occurring at all, and rather a creation of the lost people, obtained by defeating a uh, Severian. Sweet. From the ruins it came, and to ruin it returns. I didn't mean to, uh, you know, find that thing, but hey, we got a, a good bounty there. That is that is a good thing. In Bahamut, uh, I'm still in the process of updating my auto shouts, so let's hit you up with one of those. Ooh, looks like you're playing some Bioshock. Is that a is that a first playthrough for you? Because uh, if so, how are you enjoying the game so far? Uh, big fan of Bioshock. <laughs> I got all the uh, achievements on the Xbox uh, 360 version of the game in, uh, in college. I didn't have a whole lot of money my last semester at uni, and I basically only had enough to afford one game, and so... And I didn't have a whole lot of time to play games either, but my goodness, I played, uh, uh, I've already got the, the trophy, uh, Panda, but we can definitely, uh, pet Torgal some more. <laughs> when did you get so big? The first opportunity we had to pet Torgal, uh, we got that trophy. <laughs> so I played the world out of Bioshock You're a good boy. when I first got it. Um, cause since that was the only game I had access to when I had free time on weekends, I played the world out of it. Playing it for years, but it feels like a first playthrough. I'm enjoying it as always. Yeah, it's creepy. Um, and I don't know if it's classified as a horror game, but man, there were bits that really weirded me out that I need, like I needed to take breaks from the game because it just was so intense. Huh. It's wonderful. What brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. Well, let's go help him out. Yeah. So where is Cressida anyway? Okay, so is that worth going to another obelisk? Nah. So we need to go out this way, take a left and another left. So we turn around. <laughs> It's only fitting you go across the bridge that he built for you to go find him. I like this. <laughs> of course, Torgal deserves all the loves. All the loves for Torgal. He's the bestest boy. Hopefully Charlie didn't hear that. Which, uh, he has finally settled a little bit into his cloud. So there we go. Now we got all three puppies. Sadly, just first-person shooter, but it definitely has horror elements. I can't wait for... Ooh, I guess I haven't heard much about that, uh, Bahamut. But th that sounds pretty interesting. I mean, there's enough lore and depth uh, to that story that I think uh, there's enough there for a TV series or uh, Good God. or film adaptation. I'm going to leave you on the TV for Marabou. Aww. Enjoy your uh, your visit to the dentist. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and quickly, dude. And uh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad to keep Marabou company. Hey, hey Marabou. You're a good boy, too. <laughs> Foster. I mean, Torgal is the best boy, but uh, yeah, that's beside the point. <laughs> 
Can we get some hearts in chat for Shadow, please? Yeah, best video game boy. There you go. Not to be confused with Nintendo's Game Boy. Hi. Oh, I've the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Man, some of these shots are so well framed. <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And... If Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before um, we go? Sure, of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. Oh, that's sad. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. Well, let's take care of that. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Beasts and bogles. Thank you kindly. <laughs> and take care. There's wonderful news, Bahamut. Can we get some GGs uh, for Bahamut, please? That is wonderful news. Congrats, dude. That is a, a big achievement. By all means. Uh, I need to just get a button for uh, spamming GGs in chat. So we'll work on that. <laughs> but congratulations. That is wonderful news. This shouldn't take long. <laughs> Oh, I parried on accident. Very nice. Stay down. Uh, let's switch to our airborne creatures. There we go. All yours, Ooh, very nice. Of course, it couldn't be that easy. There we go. And that combo is very satisfying. Holy cow. How many enemies are there? Oh, that hurt.
Uh, we just met mid, and we took down uh, Kupka last week. So Torgol got his uh, big glow up. <laughs> Not that he needed it, of course. Oh my goodness, I need to be careful here. Oh boy, get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Torgal. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that does it. Oh my goodness, that was close. <laughs> and I'm assuming you're you finished the game already, Bahamut. So I apologize if there were any spoilers uh, laden in that statement. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Uh, they almost made short work of me. Thank you, son. <laughs> now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is sad. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. It was excellent, though. He gets to visit his parents. Let's take care uh, of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. <laughs> oh, Clive. Uh, that's all too relatable. Um, I know there are times where I've received a uh, to-do list. And I'm like, ah, I finished it. Let's get back uh, before they think of anything else. So let's I, <laughs> totally get that. Finish the game. Excellent. Um, yeah, my whole goal was to play this when it first came out. But Final Fantasy V uh, took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, in a good way. Not complaining about that by any means. And also, I... Uh, Lovely had some unexpected time away this summer, so it kind of delayed my uh, completing of Final Fantasy V as well. But if anybody hasn't played V, definitely do it. It is wonderful. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? Your task that you gave me. <laughs> This rare flora has the unfortunate honor of being named for the water spirits that are believed to haunt the swamps of Eastern Storm. 
trapping hapless wanderers in the morass that they might sup on the hope in their hearts. Infusions brewed from the flower's petals, by contrast, are quite tasty and known to cure all manner of ailments. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Mm. Finding them was the easy part. <laughs> yep. But it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. Yep. The ducal healers were convinced of their properties. That is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. Oh, sweet. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. Very cool. Here we are. A phial of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. If it doesn't kill you. <laughs> At least I hope it will. Adding but a drop of this concentrated extract to any curative or performance-enhancing potion will increase its potency, or so insists Nigel of the Backyard. <laughs> I like this. Instead of, you know, doing, like, mega potions or, or stuff like that, they're just keeping, like, high potions. But then this strengthens our consumables. That's cool. That is really cool. I like that a lot. Instead of changing the names of things, uh, you just change the properties through a side quest. That was honestly worth the effort. Um, I would say I would recommend doing the pixel remasters on PlayStation if you if you have that or otherwise if you have a Nintendo Switch, it would be nice to have them in handheld. But the problem is, you know, of course, unless you're a trophy hunter, you don't get access to hunting trophies on the switch yeah what doesn't kill you gives you uh, nice shiny robes like uh, Gandalf <laughs> but I want to help Miss Mididol with her because um, I started playing the pixel remasters on Steam uh, before they came out for consoles which uh, kind of stinks because then I miss out on the trophies I guess they're Steam achievements um but I'm, I'm half tempted to get them for PlayStation and go back and play them again off stream. Uh, because I never played one through six back in the day. Uh, so I'm working through that now. And I started with one in December of 21. And I worked my way through uh, one, two, three, and four. I finished four at the end of last year, at the end of 2022. And I started uh, Crisis Core and five uh, this year. And including Final Fantasy 16. Next year, I'm hoping to round out this game. Uh, of course, I'm taking some time off work to play uh, Rebirth when it comes out. And then after Rebirth, uh, I do plan on playing 6 and then hopefully 10. Uh, so that's kind of my lofty aspirations for next year. Uh, due to avoiding spoilers and wanting to enjoy it as much as possible, I will be replacing my normal... Monday, Wednesday games with uh, with Rebirth as well. So that's kind of uh, my plans for uh, 2024. All right, Clive, you've all done then. I yeah. Am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait.
Good work. Good work getting the work. <laughs> Residual earth ether that, having failed to dissipate on the battlefield, has instead manifested into a solid form not unlike crystal, but with a elemental purity that renders it far more potent, if not highly specialized in its applications. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? Oh, well, we got some side quests that have popped up, so let's uh, see if we can grab those. Okay, that side quest is in with Jill, so let's go find this other one. Oh yeah, and we can talk to uh, uh, Nectar about the uh, bounty. of this guy. Very cool. I love this Moogle so very much. <laughs> Good plan for 2024. Strictly avoiding any spoilers for Rebirth, but Square Enix. Yeah, I, I've seen social media posts about the last trailer, but I... Uh, I'm refraining from all future trailers, including the one at the Game Awards, just because, um, yeah, same reason. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Uh oh. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that they know the work is dangerous, but I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? <sighs> Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. Yeah. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the dragon's airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgo will track them down. I can't help but think, you know, if this is weighing so much on your conscience and you got them into this, wouldn't you go check? <laughs> I mean, we'll help her out for sure. But it's just, uh, you know. Yeah. What's everyone whispering about? Haven't you heard? I'm sure they have obligations here, so. Ah, Clive. Talia, how's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. Oh, cool. Let's get our side quest here. The man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodriguez. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but here as many die as recover really worth the risk you don't need me to answer that you know full well what we're fighting for i hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals but until that day a brand is a burden and we must lift that burden in order to go undetected the operation may be dangerous but it's also essential and we undergo it Willingly. 
So I'm just kind of curious. Um, I still wish there was some other way. You're going undetected with a big mark on your face where a scar used to be or a brand used to be. It's just strange. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's uh, as inconspicuous as Clive believes it to be. Got to the dentist hilar hilariously early. Get to watch some stream before I go in. Nice. <laughs> that is good news. Yeah, I've done that before. What I've also done before, Shadow, is I've arrived a week before. <laughs> but my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. So I'm glad it's just, you know, a number of minutes early and not uh, that much. <laughs> doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh. Thank you. I mean, that's fair, Bahamut. It's her blood, like Tyre, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. I guess part of it is you need to make it, you know, more uniquely shaped than the brand itself, so it, it can be more easily dismissed. Did that with your eye test the other week? Oh man, I've done that to so many appointments over the years where I've just uh, accidentally marked it on a wrong week on my calendar or something. And then I go in a week early and I'm sitting in the waiting room and I'm very introverted so like i'll go and just sit down and wait and wait for them to you know because usually at appointments like that the uh the receptionist you don't have to check in with them uh being the in the small community that i live in you just kind of go sit down and then they'll call your name when you're ready and you know my appointment time had come and passed and you know i was about five minutes after i'm like okay well we'll see what's going on here <laughs> they're like oh yeah your your appointment's next week i'm like oh geez oops White as a sheet. Oops. So that's where, you know, sometimes being uh, introverted and, and not wanting to bother people can be a detriment. <laughs> Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Where did you get him, like, in the first place? Uh... My father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His that is cool. Was Fenrir. Excellent. Fenrir the frost wolf. Excellent Norse uh, mythology uh, influence there. Now. The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Torgal his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened, just when his master needed him the most. Oh, that is right. cool. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power 
is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> oh, good boy. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. I'm sorry, but the phrasing there, they could have gone with maybe a different food item. I, I hope that's a uh, localization error, because I'm guessing that's going to become a meme. There you are! <laughs> I'm looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. I shall be a moment. Some time later. <sighs> it ain't brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Torgal, the dominant of Fenrir. Well, that's yeah. Settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. <sighs> that's what I was uh, in the process of thinking too, uh, Bahamut. You know what, let's take care of those side quests before we proceed, because I just don't think it's going to give me the chance otherwise. So let's go to Northreach. Take care of that one. There's two. We are doing a longer stream today, uh, since I do have the... Uh, day off from work Did we'll need to take a break uh in a little while oh i don't need to go in there i need to go back out here i think yeah uh to take care of the uh Ooh, the it. puppy's Where's needs for uh f-o-o-d and otherwise so that'll be uh not for a little bit yet Run like the wind. Ah, the dragon's area. You know what I should have done is got potions. I'm still very much lacking. On those. Yeah. I should have stocked up before leaving. Oh. I missed my, my quest marker. Get me back on my feet. Tear the Cole. I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking. What are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Uh-oh. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. 
All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. Yep. And Sid, it's good to see you. Good to see Don't you too. Just yet. Um, I agree, Shadow. Uh, they did uh, the Chocobo music very, very well in 15. But I am very partial, uh, honestly, to the Black Chocobo theme in Final Fantasy V. Uh, the very, like, Caribbean Calypso-style influence uh, with, like, the steel drums and everything in that one. Uh, absolutely love that one. <laughs> Give you some quick shot of the puppies here since they're all just nestled in so cozily this morning. Oh, the doggos. Come on, Ambrosia. But I wish they would have just done more than just a, like, little bit of fanfare when you get on the Chocobo in this one. Same with Nine's Chocobo theme. Uh, nice steel drum. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's the carriage. Man, I haven't played Nine in a while. I should probably redo that. Not get hit like that. You dare hit Torgo like that, you jerk. Nice try. And let me do the mini stagger on him during his charge up. That's unfortunate. Oh, 
God, what a finish. <laughs> this game is just beautiful. Level 30 now. Nice. So we were under leveled for that one guy. Who are you? A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Oh. Perhaps. This man is down on his luck. You another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you. You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Sweet. I do love that. All right, gather. Uh, let's go take care of that quest, which is over in Rosaria. Then we can continue with main questing. See, this game, like, I feel like the need to do these side quests because there's just so much contextual value that even though the game is uh, very simple in its side questing, Not for those herbs. it's uh, just so well done. Ooh, these are scary. <laughs> Bird-raptor combo. plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Should be enough to keep the infirmary stock for a while. Hopefully this will put Rodriguez mind at ease. And I am just so uh, so happy with the voice acting in this game and Ben Starr has done just such a phenomenal job. I mean, the entire cast, uh, but especially Ben Starr and uh, Ralph Ineson. Um, my goodness. It's just one thing after another around here. The have been up to their old tricks. Again. Proving that uh, voice acting in games is an art form. Most definitely. Sid, welcome back. A Stolis from the Dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited... A little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. But those are mistakes that you can learn from. <laughs> mistakes are only mistakes if you don't learn from them. Cole and the others got home safely. 
You made exactly the right decision. Exactly. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole, I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Yep. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. But you do, though. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath, too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. Yep, exactly, Bahamut. Heavy is the, the head that wears the crown. Uh, leader learns from the mistakes they make and use that knowledge to, you know, make better decisions. Yeah. Okay, the breath of fire. This helps with the rising flames cooldown. You know what I haven't done? <laughs> Is actually looked at my uh, abilities in a while. Ooh, that's nice. I haven't really done anything with the uh, Titan stuff. We haven't done Rook's Gambit or the uh, Aerial Blast. We should probably learn. Oh, we don't have enough points. Um, Judgment Bolt. That's a lot for an upgrade. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, Thunderstorm looks nice. Could level up our precision dodge. I like that you can reset these at any time so you can kind of like respect. Um, not a big fan of the ignition move. Oh, we can level up our uh, limit break if we had enough skill points. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Not at all. A wild herb that, when brewed into an infusion, can dull the pain of a barber's blade. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... <laughs> I'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. 
The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Yes. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Because it's the right thing to do. They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. Yep. To give their lives, to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. Great words. I won't falter. Not again. I love just so much humanity is packed into this story and into the side quest. I, I don't know. I don't think I've seen a game with this amount of depth to the NPCs. It's insane. Exactly, Bahamut. Exactly. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Yeah, because we need to take Kupka down. What? Here? Would that be a problem? <laughs> I believe it a mercy that you... I love how they called that out, because that was a bit awkward. <laughs> ...didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? And who might that be? trouble it was a pleasure being you know, inside <laughs> <laughs> uncle byron clive my boy tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for a sound uh, bite. I have a few uh, streamer friends that have walk-on sounds, and I've been looking for a good one, and that is a good one. Tap the cask and stoke the ovens. Your favorite uncle is here. I'm going to use that. <laughs> um, I need to do a, a game capture of, of that one so I can pull that sound bite. Excellent. <laughs> Windside, the Holy Empire of Sandbreak. 
seat of the imperial court. The Dalmechian government's audience chamber. Peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Oh, would it be the uh, a wizard um, is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to, because that's a good one. <laughs> of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Oh, that is a good one too, Bahamut. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? <laughs> now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Theon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Ew, gross. This dude is evil. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Oh. For every home that burns, another can be built. Awful. The Empire will live on. Yeah, this, this guy is most foul. <laughs> and speaking of somebody who is not foul, but might have some foul language, welcome in, Mattis. Good to see you. <laughs> Gimli is such a top lad. Yep. Great attitude throughout. Love Gimli. Absolutely love that character. Uh, John Reese davies uh, amazing performance. And also amazing considering he is a very tall man. <laughs> and through the magic of filmmaking, they made him look quite uh, short. <laughs> I'm still amazed by what they were able to accomplish uh, with the Hobbits and perspective filming and all that because it's just top top drawer oh man i forgot about that hugh welcome in by the way good to see you yes sir
prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. Sylvester is just uh, beyond reprehensible. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. And the way this kid is always like in his mother's lap, it's just strange. Like, he should be out playing with friends. Um, I feel like they're they're making him uh, have lack of adjustment uh, to the outside world uh, in order to pursue their power struggle and their, their want for uh, subjugation. But my goodness, like, give the kid some freedom. My Gregor, forgive you. I'm sure it's a comfort thing for the kid at this point, but it's just uh, strange. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So he'd see his own son come to death then. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. I agree. Annabelle is quite vile. Yep. Oh, there's no doubt she's already poisoned the mind of that poor child. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing? Nary a doubt in the world. One way to find out. The have been up to their own. It's just one thing after another around here. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. Welcome in, Hegel. Good to see you, dude. To evacuate the people of Rosalith to Port Isolde. I was. Hi. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000! <laughs> Oh, Cav. And I'm... I kind of wish they would have gone, like, right on the nose with that one and says, you know, like, he could have said something like, I, I can't believe it or something. Because they've already done, like, some of the puns of, like, him only having one eye. <laughs> I kind of wish they would have just leaned into it there. But good morning, Hegel. Good to see you. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Also, uh, happy Final Fantasy Friday to Hugh and uh, Mattis and anybody just joining us as well. Good to see you all. Good morning, good morning. Afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Yes. Come here and I'll show you. Let us go cut the head off the snake.
It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Wulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. I love this map uh, recap What's here. the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. I do have the day off, Hegel, but uh, I'm just doing uh, regular coffee today. <laughs> but thank you for checking, though, dude. And I hope you like the Easter egg. Not many people use that command on Fridays. So whenever I have coffee in my drink title, it'll show the coffee mug instead of... Uh, the beer can. <laughs> it's one of my uh, favorite things I've programmed for this stream that I'm quite proud of. But uh, cheers, nonetheless. And for those wondering what today's uh, advent calendar beer is, I won't be consuming it on stream, but I do have it with me here. It is the 15th entry in the advent calendar, and it's from BrewDog, of course. And it's their uh, Elvis Juice, uh, the grapefruit uh, infused IPA. This one uh, clocks in at 6.5%. So I'm looking forward to that one later today. Gonna be uh, excited for that one. I've had that one before and it's quite tasty. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it. There was something a little strange about the ships I saw. Good morning, Perrin. seemed almost... Good to see you. ...crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Yeah. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. <laughs> Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop, boy. Welcome back, Shadow. Uh, hopefully uh, everything went well for you during the uh, cementing process. And also, uh, hopefully you're able to cement yourself in a restful place uh, and enjoy the rest of the day, dude. Um, I just got done telling other folks that our uh, Advent Calendar Beer of the Day is Brewdog's uh, Elvis Juice, 
Uh, but we won't be consuming that on stream this morning. It'll be a little bit later today. If you uh, just slap uh, chip button born to win into YouTube, there aren't many entries for that kind of search. <laughs> I, I would hope not. And let me preface this with, it's a one of a kind cinematic experience. With a little help from Sid. Tap the kegs and stoke the ovens. Yep, it is a wonderful line. <laughs> Kuka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kuka's head. And I like how you put Borrow. I, I promise. <laughs> the lands around the Fang are all Kuka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Dalimil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalimil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... <laughs> Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Go. <laughs> I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Oh, Gav. What a lad. What a lad. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. And I love Byron. <laughs> what a cool character. Okay, so that's where we're going as Drake's Fang right there. The Velcroy Desert. A vast arid sea of sand and stone that has been slowly consuming western Dalmechia since time immemorial. There's a reason why this game won uh, best score and music at the Game Awards. And man, music is just so good. I was a young man when last I walked this path. Aw, Torgal. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Riddle of the Sands. Oh, I wonder if Byron gets his own uh, chocobo. Yes, let's ride, Uncle. <laughs> Our destination lies over that dune. Beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. I love these stories. <laughs> and I'm glad you uh, you waited till you were done driving to uh, type that into chat, Shadow. But uh, I, I agree with you. I, 
It is uh, unsettling at best, uh, the situation of that poor child. There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? <laughs> what a lad. Of course. Let's stop for a pint. Steeds, no doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? <laughs> Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Aw. Well, I don't want to be there. If that inn doesn't allow dogs, I don't want to be there. Oh, Roxy. I know, it's close to that time, puppy, I know. Uh, you won't be able to see her on camera because she's just off puppy camera. But this is what I'm I'm getting right now. <laughs> uh, she knows it's almost time for, uh, you know, some feeding. <laughs> just getting the puppy dog eyes. So uh, as soon as we get through this scene here, we'll uh, take a quick break so they can get some uh, some food and all that stuff. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. <laughs> what do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Who's gonna be in here? Oh, it's gonna be Joshua, I bet. Either that or he's in this room. <coughs> Taking a sword out to set it against the table, speaking from experience, you absolutely cannot sit down with the sword strapped. Yeah. <laughs> Although there was a uh, scene earlier where he was seated uh, with the sword strapped on his back, and it was a bit questionable. In case of unsavories nearby, that's right. Let them know the kind of blade you're you're wielding, right? <coughs> that can't be good. Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. 
You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Those are some cool tankards. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Kuka, then. <laughs> oh, uncle. Dude. Let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uncle? Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Oh, it's already been brewed. <laughs> it's about to be consumed. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. I, <laughs> it has been simmering. <laughs> ah, I'm sure you could. Good one, Hegel. Good beef consomme. There was an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. friend. to lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. <laughs> Gotta love it. The outlaw. Thank you. Try it. I mean, pints and fights, right? It can't be helped, Shadow. It can't be helped. <laughs> it's 
just a shame that we didn't get more pints first. For your trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> oh, love Byron. Yeah, there's a whole system. You see, the thing is pints, plural. We only had one. And there were several fights just there. So, yeah, proper order needed to be established. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. <laughs> but you've had a whole half already, Bahamut. senses Joshua's presence. Clive? Just missed him. Is there another feather? Oh, it's a spoon. What is I it? I couldn't now? tell by the angle. It means nothing. Let's go. Hmm. Dashing off like that. Not nothing. never did like carrots. Shadow, one could say he didn't uh, carrot all for them. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I regret nothing. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I regret nothing. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Let's give Torgal some pets. Get it, boy! That is fair, Bahamut. All right, boy. I don't blame you. Don't blame you one bit. <laughs> that that was cheap yeah i'm sorry <laughs> anyway uh petting torgal is a great reminder that i need to take care of the puppy dog's needs so we're going to do a little bit of a break here before we continue a stream it is a bit of a longer one today since i do have the day off from uh from work so we're going to press on for quite a bit longer today but we're going to do a little bit of a break to get them their food and their bio break and all that. But I will give you just some camera of these uh, cute little angels. I honestly, to be fair, uh, Shadow, I think I think uh, it was low hanging uh, carrots or low hanging fruit, which I guess is a, you know, vegetable fruit. You get my point. <laughs> it was an easy pun to make. So I... That's all right. That's all right by me. So, uh, yeah, we're going to rouse the puppies and get them some food and some bio break. And we'll be back uh, in a little bit. It might be about closer to 10, 15 minutes. So, uh, 
make sure you grab yourselves a refill on your coffee, your tea, whatever beverage you're sipping on. Uh, get some snacks, and we'll see you all uh, quite soon. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Come on and buy it at Wooly's Beard and Beer House, the most wholesome stream on Twitch. Sponsored. I'm going there, AJ. You're coming with me. <laughs> You're coming with me. If I'm going, y'all are coming with me. got there justin i had no time to warn hobo poor hobo just immediately this sounds like such a my outside. <laughs> i had no time to to help him i said no don't please don't stop
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what's this? It's seven contiguous segments giving me a bonkers road and a sweet ten points for the win. A booyah! <laughs> This isn't the theme for Dark Souls 3. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. That was the third try tonight. I came back and third tried Nameless King, and I third tried Haunted. Dark Souls 3 gets the third try return for me. Oh my lord, yes. <laughs> wow. Didn't say cheese. Cheese. Short sword known for its easy hand. Excellent news, dude. Uh, Matt is dog. Welcome in. Good morning, my friend. I hope all their boners break. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the middle of action, too, right? No. It breaks during action. No, because that's like... I want their boners just to break. Like they're they're just walking around and it's just like they hear a snap, like celery breaking in half, and that's they're like, oh my dick, and then they fall over. <laughs> they're huge. They're hard. Wow, just wow. <laughs> to serve the hero Sephiroth our apples one day. Genesis. Alright, I've been clipping some screen recordings from this game for quotes, and I need the, the wow just wow. <laughs> I feel like that quote right there from Adam is adulthood in a nutshell. Right there. Adam, you nailed it. Welcome to my existential trip. <laughs> This music is making her back.
no. <laughs> One HP in a dream, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot I was out of flask and I thought I was dead. Oof. That is nice. sword known for its easy handling. Excellent news, dude. Uh, Mattis Dog, welcome in. Good morning, my friend. As a friend. Just Galif is fine. Understood. Just Galif. <laughs> Don't push it, kid. You're involved. Bad jokes like that will get you punished. Ha <laughs> ha. Side Resort Town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice, restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill. and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Whitman. <laughs> well, if I'm going there, AJ, you're going with me. <laughs> you're coming with me. If I'm going, y'all are coming with me. <laughs> She got there just in. I had no time to warn Hobo. Poor Hobo, just immediately. This sounds like. This might smell on my outside. I had no time 
to, to help him. I said, no, don't. In my Please, head. don't stop. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you got a refill on your coffee, your tea, whatever beverage you enjoy. Uh, hopefully got some snacks and or breakfast if it's that time of day for you. I know these puppies got their breakfast and some time in the outdoors, so it, on a cool frosty morning. So <laughs> good morning, everybody. Cheers to you all. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the welcome back, Shadow. Let's see what the weather's like here. It is... It's not as cool as it's been. It was actually fairly warm yesterday. It was in the 50s Fahrenheit yesterday. So let's see, we got up to like maybe 54 yesterday. So 54 Fahrenheit to Celsius, that's like 12 degrees Celsius, which is weird to say that's warm. Uh, right now we're actually at 37 Fahrenheit. So what is that? Uh, that is two degrees Celsius, but still warm for a December morning around these parts. <laughs> nine my goodness that is nice for december that is nice but 12 is really quite warm it was really windy yesterday though so that kind of also combats that just a bit it's that that whole trade-off of, of the wind 10 celsius there not too bad not too bad wiccan welcome in good to see you Good to see you. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Uh, uh, 7.1 with wind chill in the shade. Yeah. Um, so I live in North Dakota, and there's an acronym for wind, and it stands for weather in North Dakota. It's windy here all the time. It's very rare that you get a day that's like 5 mile per hour wind. Uh, it's usually like 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained winds and then gusts of, you know, 30 plus uh, here or there. It's not always that bad, but it's it calms down in the evenings, which is usually pretty nice, unless there's a storm. Am I boring you with the weather talk, Roxy? <laughs> it's a big ol' yawn from that doggo. <laughs> we call that blowy as... <laughs> Welcome in, Wiccan. Good to see you. Good to see you, everyone. We're doing a bit of a longer stream today due to uh, me not having to work. So we're going to stream for at least uh, at least uh, two or three more hours here this morning. But uh, good to see everybody. Welcome on in. All right. So now we need to make our way for Drake's Fang. And let's go ahead and pet Torgol again. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Of course, of course, it's been guarded. Ah, they've closed the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough on one <laughs> already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. So it would appear we are not using the maddest uh, method to sneak in. Speak with the towns. We'll be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason. Wait, it's at what? Hey, welcome in, uh, Rossfield Lucis. Uh, uh, I forget the is it Selim or Calum? I think it's Calum. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, I like your name too, by the way. I am unashamedly a fan of uh, Final Fantasy 15, so <laughs> you are you are most welcome. 
Good morning. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Hopefully you're doing well. Hey, there's our townsfolk. Anything I can help you. Hey, I am enjoying a day off work as well. I don't typically stream after uh, 7 a.m. Central, so I typically end stream around this time on Fridays. Uh, but I don't have to work today, so we get to stream a little bit longer. With travelers, allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Wow, Byron. Speaking like a true politician, my lord. <laughs> so you've done 15 nine times and 16 seven times. Uh, wow. That's impressive, considering uh, 16 just came out in June. That is very, very impressive. Fucking men of the wrong. Anytime they pull this snouts, I can go to trough is when they want to launch to us. I wish we could pet the other dogs here, because they're so cute. A thousand gil for a measly bunch of gazelle greens. Okay, we've talked to him. I suppose we could always look at our map. Oh, it's just in the area. Oh, we could talk to the daydreamer, even though they're not part of our. All the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey. And they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Such happy times. Oh, Poor old lady just waxing nostalgic there. Dreaming of the good old days. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. Yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. Hey, we have uh, details this now. This young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Looks like we won't be getting back to drugs. Well, it's not yeah, we are running long today, Strufty. I don't have uh, work today. So we're going to do a long one. Long stream this morning. And also kind of fitting since it is the uh, last Final Fantasy Friday I have before taking a break for the holidays. So. Fucking men of the wrong. <laughs> Got to get as much Final Fantasy 16 as we can. How are you doing this morning, dude? Hopefully you're doing well. Treat you. I'm... Hopefully you've been getting plenty of rest and uh, healing time in. Take a sniff, good sir. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Once you go flat. Have a taste. Oh, flatbreads. Oh. I would take 
a lot of that. I am a huge fan of flatbread. <laughs> Silver platters. Um, have you played any of the other Final Fantasy games in the series, um, Rossfield? Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you have. And uh, which Final Fantasy was your first? Which one was your favorite? I like to ask that of newcomers during Final Fantasy Friday. Mommy, I want to play with the crystal. Seven was your first? Same here. Same here. And seven uh, still remains my favorite. Are you uh, looking forward to Rebirth at all? Uh, I am getting very hyped for it, but I'm also uh, refraining from watching any future trailers as well, because I don't want to uh, get any weird spoilers. Favorites are 10, 15, and 16. Very cool. I have yet to play all of 10. Uh, so I'm going to aim to uh, remedy that in 2024, if possible. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Luzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. And Shadow, I think I saw earlier that you said you still need a Platinum uh, 7 remake and also play uh, the Intermission DLC. Uh, definitely highly recommend both of those. Um, I did the Platinum, uh, I think within a couple weeks of, of remake coming out because uh, I was just obsessed. It was so good. It's like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Foda knows. Excuse me, are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Ah, very cool. We found our way. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he trusts us. <laughs> uh, uh, very acute observation there, uh, Clive. <laughs> oh, just need to finish the VR missions. Uh, that one's tough. That one is a very tough trophy uh, to get. I wish you the very best with that shadow because uh, defeating those on hard is probably one of the toughest bits of that, that platinum trophy, to be honest. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Rosfield, but uh, hopefully you get at least some time away from work, whether it's uh, small or uh, large. You know, some time to uh, rest and relax, whether it's... Uh, with family or friends, or uh, someone has to look after the cats and dogs, well, hey, you get to hang with them. And that's uh, big fans of uh, four-legged creatures around here. And since it's your first time around, I better introduce you to the puppy dogs. Roxy's the Jack Russell there in the middle bed. She's 14. Uh, Lucy's just off to the side. She's a five-year-old Shih Tzu. And in uh, just off camera here, by my feet, oh, there he's moving is uh, Charlie. He's a seven-year-old Pomeranian that we just adopted in September. And all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them. My uh, mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are really just side content at this point. <laughs> you work in an animal shelter. That is very cool. Uh, that is very commendable work. Thank you uh, for your service to uh, our four-legged companions. Very much so. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Well, you're about to lose your nose. Stay down. 
boy. Yeah. Here we go. I would argue it's not necessarily the size of the sword, but in Final Fantasy it kind of is. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I mean, they started it, okay? <laughs> they started it. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, he, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. <laughs> Lord Ferda? Yep. Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Sky Pacer, good morning. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Good morning, Sky Pacer. Good to see you, dude. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Hopefully the week has treated you well, and the weekend uh, that's just around the corner uh, is sure to greet you with uh, equal um, tidings. Good to see you. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Light meat and dark. Fresh oh, yes, they're quite sweet. Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. <laughs> so much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. I'll correct you there, Byron. Age does not equal experience. Throwing that out there, heading that one off at the pass. Age does not equal experience. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the South Gate. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? War. Why, trust. Everyone ah. knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. So we have to win him and over. So for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. 
Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? <laughs> Why are you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> well. Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. You mean you're a manipulator who uh, works off of uh, desperation. It's a weird way to say that, though. Uh, Luborn. Fine. <laughs> so what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? I mean, that's true, uh, Bahamut. <laughs> enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Okay. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? Seems going to give us orders. Be like a shifty character, Hegel. Where about them, damn you? Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I know he was saying that to Byron, but I, I kind of feel like I need the luck to. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Oh. This is not a good sign. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang, for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Another story of the corrupt preying on the weak. Not a fan of this. The most fragrant herbs needed to a silken softness. You wouldn't believe I how much cloud you look like. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. 
with pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Um... I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I'm guessing not in that sense. Anything of use. Hegel. No problem. Seems, be in by now. seems a bit sus to me. The finest fabrics, fresh from the capital. What was all that crashing and banging about? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume the same as you. <laughs> I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Enjoy your food, uh, Rossfield. Enjoy your food, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Hopefully it treats you well. Ah, lunchtime. Enjoy. these days. Okay, so do we go through here then? I guess not. Hey Byron, where are you? Oh, there we are. Huh? Okay, I was gonna ask uh, on your uh, time zone, but uh, that checks out. <laughs> Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Okay, this is your reminder, everybody. If you haven't had food yet today, um, yeah, make sure you stay uh, stay fed and hydrated. Okay. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. Yep. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. <laughs> they took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? Yeah. You, you need to show that you've got the brass. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. Yep. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. Yeah, it still may prove to be Just so. Just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. Uh, I'm going to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. Can you make a second one, Mattis? I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. Or I guess now a third one for Hegel. Anybody else in chat? You need a uh, spicy chicken wrap for lunch? Why is the tavern shut? 
courtesy of Mattis Dog. <laughs> You're going to be uh, preparing meals for us all day now, Mattis. I hope you know that. I don't know if you were ready for such things, but... Good girl. Run like the wind. Just got my Terraform and Go code to build and deploy a Amazon Web Services Lambda function this morning. Small victory. Um, I know about a quarter of what you spoke of there, Hegel, but uh, the fact that you're calling it a victory uh, is a wonderful thing. So uh, GG's to you, my friend. Ham, salami, chorizo, and cream cheese. Oh my lord. Right. That sounds wonderful too. Now I'm getting proper hungry. <laughs> Seasoned chicken, sweet salad, mayo, pickled red cabbage, uh, a glue of hot sauce, and oh. Mess me up all day with something like that, dude. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I, I kind of like the way you say it. a glue, though, because it's like, you know, that's a the extra piece that's kind of holding it together. I kind of like that phrasing. I might have to co-opt that, even though it was a, a typo. I like it. I'll take it from here. Okay, infrastructure is code plus the code. I have to rewrite one of my bots, and I don't like doing all of the setup. In oh, very cool. That is good news, then. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice. You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Well, the crystal was like... Yeah, a whole stockpile out here, like out in the open air. Like, people could have found this. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Aha. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill we we are here to do business, but uh, by means of the blade, sir. Yet 
so cold. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, they've got uh, magics on the field. Okay. Where's our other uh, spellcaster? Oh, way over there. Way over there. Good boy, Torgal. There we are. Yeah, my business. Murder. Oh no, why did they have to bring chocobos into this? Now I have to fight animals. I don't like this at all. Hey, thank you for the new follow. Much appreciated. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? I mean, that's fair, Shadow. I don't think I could bring myself to eat Chocobo, though. Like chicken, yeah. Turkey, okay. Chocobos, they're friends. I don't need friends. We're magnificent. That's where I draw the line. Was particularly <laughs> thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. <laughs> Expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Not at all. But make it snappy, okay? Everybody needs to go get their lunch. <laughs> Sometime later. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive. You held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. 
And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. <laughs> is that really so obvious? Yep. And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> Here, wear this. Desert Rose from Lubar. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubar. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. interesting way of, of saying that. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> I do like the misdirection, though. Um, if you're wanting to not be found, uh, what better way than to assume a... Well, then. I wish you a safe journey south. An alias Thank of you. such. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Let us go, Uncle. My carpets have bright yes, yeah. they're quite nice. Fresh bread, dark. warm from the oven. Yeah. Well, it looks like we have side quests now, so let's take a peek Lights at those. And butts, holes and Everything I've worked for. All those years of toil. Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your... That clearly has brothels as a smart too. Totally sends folks the wrong direction should they come looking. Exactly. Services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot, and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. I like how the uh, quest names are good puns on their own. They've opened the gate. Oh, there's a side quest at uh, Briar's Kiss. Let's go get that first. Just look at the deep. Made from the stoutest stoneware. The juiciest meat. Take a sniff, good sir. The finest fabrics. I've never even forged a butter knife. But... <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. 
He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Hmm. I suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? Not the foggiest. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been. And that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. True. I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Hmm. There's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Yeah, look at you using your brain. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. My carpets have bright oh, yes. lights. Needed to a silken softness. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Kind of a no-brainer. Well, we can make our way back to the Fang now, at least. What is it? We no move for chatter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume. You use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Don't be dealing with a brittle blade. Not while I'm on the hunt. Your knife snaps every time you use it. You'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. Yeah. Man after my own heart. This seems like hardly relevatory. <laughs> And hold an edge. I agree with you, Hagel. Revelation. Yep. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Silver platters! Whites and pots! Hold. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. The yes. most fragrant yes. herbs and spices. Even Clive agrees. So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but... I have to make a start soon. 
I can't put off making this knife forever. <laughs> Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's. Who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy? There you go. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Let's go. I will say this, uh, I'm curious how this side quest is going to conclude. Because while a lot of these side quests feel very simple, uh, this one included, it, uh, I'm curious if the conclusion is going to be worth the, uh, the effort, which it usually is. How do we get across? Perhaps our map will show us. Oh. We don't get across that way. <laughs> Can we uh, just warp to the obelisk so we don't have to backtrack? Nice. made an assumption of the directions and I was quite wrong. So we go left Good. here. Is it true what I'm hearing? Wait, that's the correct way, isn't it? No. Nope. Further left. There we go. Enjoy the work lurk, uh, Joe. And Tay, if you're hanging about as well. Good to see you. Hopefully you're having a good Friday so far. Fly Ambrosia. And if you have a moment uh, outside of Lurk to let me know where you got in Kingdom Hearts, uh, feel free. No obligation, of course. You deserve a rest. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight okay. Adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But Adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash? Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low quality iron. Hey, there you go. Bloody hell. That must be it. I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, 
But I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me. Can we get the limestone? Oh, limestone? Yeah. Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it. Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. So, do you crush it up or just... Let's go. Okay, we gotta see how this uh, little side quest ends. All right, map, where are we going here? Okay, so we gotta go out of the south gate for that one. Spread warm from the oven. Yeah, have a taste. Lights and oh. Sweet incense. What, what, we should get going soon. Do you have a Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Okay. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Telmeki and Walut are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? <laughs> if you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. Hey, thanks for the heads up. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. Oh, yeah. Plan on dying. It's his reputation he's got to uphold. Kuka does anyway. <laughs> well, so long as you have a plan. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Let's see if we can do the other side quest before we uh, go to Drake's Fang. Well, it's a lot like another. But hopefully, this is what Seven needs. Come on, girl. The gate's open now. We can press on. down there looks like a good time looks like they're what's heating up our uh, bathhouse so we better take care of that by the flames that explains the heat. Bath bombs. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Amazing name. 
There's a lot of bombs. Not good. It's so weird having a Final Fantasy character exclaim the F word in battle. <laughs> just kind of pulls me out of the immersion for just a second. This is very strange. I guess we fight fire with fire. we go not too shabby let's cool things down a bit let's hope it's enough to keep the baths boiling all right uh there's an item down here i think and then we'll just warp to the obelisk uh, measly 10 gil very nice This is no good. I was hoping to get out of the heat for a little. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. Uh, a brittle white stone that grows in the restorative hot springs near Dalamil. When dried and milled into a fine powder, it can be added to molten iron to purge the metal of impurities. You are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. <sighs> now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. Yeah, I want to see this carving knife. Sometime later. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. 
I think it looks like a crude blade, but that's okay. He's an apprentice after all. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> it looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. I agree, Shadow. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that? Hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava, know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an <laughs> absolute fortune. There goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. Yep. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. So what he learned from it all was that you need to make a knife for a certain purpose and not uh, every knife can serve every purpose. Economists are wont to argue that currency-based commerce is a cornerstone of civilization. If true, this coin would suggest that goblins are far more civilized than humankind gives them credit for. Or perhaps that humankind is rather less civilized than we presume. <laughs> I would go with the latter on that one. My carpets have Take a sniff, good sir. sir. Needed to a silken softness. Like eating a cloud with a crust. Wait, and put! There he is. Oh, he's a man who's... I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I've burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. Yeah. 
Well, they need to make uh, the bombs out of, uh, uh, you know, like salt and spices and rather uh, not, uh, you know, flame. That was an excellent wrap. Uh, heated up the tortilla and nestled everything up like, oh, <laughs> I'm salivating, Mattis. Thank you for sharing, though. <laughs> One of the hardest metals known to man, scarletite is highly sought after by those with means to pay its exorbitant asking price, a price determined not by way of its uh, rarity, but rather due to the fact that a forge must employ no fewer than five healthy bearers to produce flames hot enough to melt the ore, at which time it takes upon the deep scarlet hue from which it takes its name. And we don't use ignition, so... Uh... We don't need to worry about that cooldown uh, item. We should get going soon. Do you have water? Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to uh, get for lunch. I do have some shopping to go do uh, to get ready for tomorrow's charity stream, so I'm sure I'll find something worthy of uh, the title of lunch. but the uh, dragon tooth looks like it's been pulled. <laughs> be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, uncle. Before you go, Clive, Allow me to apologize. For what exactly? After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. Ah. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. And that's far more noble of a cause than a crown. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Excellent. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. 
Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. <laughs> I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> he did start to tear up there. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kupka. I love this game so much. <laughs> it's so good. All right, so we're at the jaw. So let's go to Drake's Fang. Unlike the other mother crystals of Valisthea, the tower above the realm, Drake's Fang lies buried deep within a hollow crag scholars call a geode. Or crag or craig, I don't know how uh, people pronounce it. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we took both of his arms, so he's having to fiddle around uh, to eat. This is good to see uh, uh, Kupka so low. Because he's diabolical and he deserves it. Hey, Kupka, watch your language. Come on, man. What has that guzzle rat done to me? I can search the way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, my phone thought I was talking to it. That was strange. Out of my sight, witch! <laughs> I'll kill you, Rossfield! I'll rip out your heart! I'll tear you limb from limb! Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Uh, uh, him into dust. Yeah, doubtful. And how would he have done that without his head? <laughs> Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. <sighs> Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. <sighs> But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. Am 
Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. Uh, this take on the prelude is amazing. I'm loving the sound of the strings in this. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Thinks, uh, Uthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. Harbored as uh, the puppet master pulling the strings of, of Hugo. You may leave everything to me, Your Majesty. Drake's Fang. It's a blessing and a curse, Mattis, uh, to have uh, the scent of whatever you had for lunch or breakfast or dinner um, stuck in one's own beard um, for a number of reasons. It, it might smell okay at first, but then, you know, if you've had anything, and this may sound gross, but like onion or garlic, um, that smell can definitely turn on you in a hurry. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, maybe you have some washing up in a bit. Yeah, I think Clive was smelling what he had for uh, lunch in his beard. <laughs> Feels welcoming. Did the royalists bring them from ash? Into the darkness. Are the beast then part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? Spotted us. Oh, the orcs aren't too bad. Yeah, 
we put their name to the test. They uh, did not pass. I'm sure there's always a bigger one. We've got orc mages now. right through here just right past you don't mind me Welcome, man. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. It is good to see you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day so far. One way to put it, Hegel. For certain. Well, 
Well, that was just fun. <laughs> it's a good battle there. And uh, I think these dogs are being way too cute, so I better show them off. <laughs> and Lucy's just snoring up a storm, too. <laughs> Just a pile of puppies. <laughs> Just a big pile of puppy dogs. Okay, that is not the way forward. What about this way? Nope. Uh, Torgal. Ah, okay. Just had to go a little further to the right. Happy Final Fantasy Friday, Katie. Good to see you. Favor of Lightning. Won't be going any further this way. Right, so this way we go. Uh, stairs. This must be the way out. Aha, big boy. Uh, not so much. You're finished. There we go. Ah, there's our big boy. Interesting warp abilities got there. I could have swore I dodged that one. Oh, the timing is awful. Dagger. Nice 
Not good. Not good. I love that Phoenix ability. Not only is it very powerful, but it just looks amazing. <laughs> A lot of bodies. Yes, they've hit the floor. I can't wait to do a uh, hard playthrough of this after uh, defeating it on normal uh, difficulty. This will be a good challenging uh, game to play in my off stream I time. Flames. Come on, Togo. This is the one thing I like about modern Final Fantasies is being able to play it on a harder difficulty. Uh, Kuka never did do things by halves. As if taking the Mother Crystal to his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. Yeah, playing on a harder difficulty after beating the, the main game the first time. At least we have a high potion now. That's good. <laughs> Let the trial begin. Mm, this isn't good. How dare it use the theatrical release of Spirits Within against me. jump over that. Oh. And not get caught within that.
wrong button cost me that one. There we go. Good side of that one. Oh no, it wouldn't let me uh, stagger him. There we go. Little, uh, little dicey there for a second, but we got him. Nice. We got a little bit of a accessory boost there. Very cool. Expected. Uh, 
So this is the power of Muthos. <laughs> Bad UI. <laughs> This dog is just still laying there. <laughs> I am jealous of that level of comfort. <laughs> oh, Lucy. Did the orcs do this too? Oh, your self-evaluation. I didn't see the previous message. Open tasks have an actions field that looks very much like a status field. Uh, it looked like I already did it. At a glance. Ah, gotcha. Oh boy. Uh, not what I meant to use. I mean, I'm alright with that. Stay <laughs> down! That's got to be my favorite combo of lives, is uh, warping, warp striking to a uh, airborne enemy, and then just proceeding to annihilate it. Waken wind! Ah! <laughs> What the hell is going on? Are these things here for me? Or for him? Yeah, good question. Some opponents will use the ability Bravery to invigorate nearby allies, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the uh, icon and defeat the targets quickly, or risk taking extra damage. Spectre. Goodness, is that combo fun? F 
first orcs now these nightmares is this your doing ultima We have a lich. This is not good. Nice try. all that to get the stagger in, but that's okay. <laughs> Him. That was poor timing. There we go. Very nice. That is not the way. I was going the right direction all along. Or maybe I need to go down. Nope. When in doubt, follow Torgal. But where did you go? This architecture is quite beautiful. How perfect would that have been to just jump out that window? 
Ah, oh, come on. Wasted opportunity, square. That would have been a great transition. Just jump out the window. Because you know that's what he would have done. Sanctum. Mm, beer. Arthur, let me know what you'd like for uh, your next custom sound and we can get that working for you. Thank you for being a part of the community long enough to uh, not only have one or two, but also a third uh, custom sound. Or maybe this is your fourth. I can't remember sometimes. <laughs> uh, where's the specter at? There it is. Waken wind! This is number four. Gotcha. You know I'm bad at counting, so... <laughs> oh. This game is amazing. It better be the last of them. There we go. Alright, Hugo. Time to end this. My everything. I, I've missed you so much. Koka! I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? He's enchanted. His mind is gone. I'll kill you, Oh shit, he's priming. No, not now. Yeah, you need to also do the same, Clive. <laughs> to do the same, dude. I think it's been over five years since he's uh, Come on. called forth uh, Ifrit.
is it. That's what we want to see. is huge. absolutely in love with this theme too. It is so good. Yeah, don't get in the way of the kick. <laughs>
pools on these icons is just absolutely insane. This is not good. <laughs> that is a small meteor. <laughs> Clive has learned the ability Brimstone from Titan. Hold and release uh, R2 and Square to emit a violent explosion. The longer to increase the explosion in size and strength. X at any time to cancel. Okay. Let's give this a try. Not bad. a little more acrobatic in this phase. There's our stagger. <laughs> uh, I don't know if puny is the right word for it there. They don't. The dude is huge.
think he ate more than that. A little more than Wheaties for the big guy. He ate his geodes for breakfast. His crystal flakes. Not expecting that. <laughs> what a spectacle. This is a treat. This has got to be one of the most fun things I've played this year, by far. <laughs> soundtrack is just adds so much to it this is cool They could have gone with something like overly orchestrated and serious, but this is just fun. <laughs>
messed up that one. close to some stagger here. I, I feel you there. This one would have been a really tough one, Arthur, to uh, to have to break up this boss fight, <laughs> or to wait wait a week uh, to do it. This one is amazing. Tried to jump, but messed it up. There we go. Dagger time. Let's go.
I know what I'm going to have on repeat today while I'm working on chores <laughs> is this song. I like how it's like slowly cracking his arm there too. Animation is so well done in this. Yes, let's go. <laughs> and I'm not sure if people caught this metaphor earlier, is in the first battle, we took his arms off. And that's what we're doing to the icon here. So it's very much a mirror of what we did to him in the first battle. I'm really digging that a lot. wild.
what a trip. I can't believe this game was snubbed for a uh, Game of the Year nomination. Raspy Doo, welcome in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I did announce in a couple places, but we did switch back to Twitch uh, on Friday morning. So we are back over here, but uh, I will be uploading these to YouTube uh, after streams as well, in case you missed one. Thank you for the resub. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no worries. I'm doing a late stream today because uh, I have the day off work, so. We're crushing ourselves some Titan this morning. it too soon oh wow somehow dodge that that's nice Some good smacks here, uh, if reaped. It's a long way to fall. That it just goes to show how huge uh, that Super Titan was.
go. <laughs> In a month off of work? I hope that's a good thing, uh, Raspy. some hearts in chat for raspy do please six months resub thank you very very much This is amazing. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Ooh, I took a hit there. Semi-priming requires the channeling and corporeal manifestation of ether contained within a dominance body. In Hugo Kupka's case, this produces crystalline formations that act as reservoirs to be drawn upon to provide the energy needed to maintain the priming, as well as to cast magics and effectively wield iconic abilities. However, such appendages may be forcibly separated from an injured semi-prime dominant preventing the reabsorption of the ether contained within. Cool. Very cool. Eagle, thank you for the cheers. Thank you for the GGs. Nice emote, by the way. 35 minute fight, I'd believe that. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This game is truly something special. The writing is so well done. The cinematic battles are so well done. The music is over the top. This whole sequence was so much fun to play. You are in a bad way, my friend. Is that you, Ultima? What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will, yet your thirst for power remains undiminished. 
With every sip you take, you grow in strength, and soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Mythos. It is inevitable. You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! And Ultima is haunting. Fight it, Ty! Don't let him in! Consciousness. We see now. Human will is so insubstantial it cannot exist in isolation. You mitigate its weakness by interweaving it with your consciousness. We believed we had merely to purge you of your will to claim our vessel. It appears we first have to sever every thread of the consciousness that supports it. No matter. Wow, truly menacing. The world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. Josh was looking out for us, protecting his big brother. Hmm. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks <laughs> after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. For five years that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka. Man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. Nothing wrong to fight for love. But he fought for too many other things that were unsavory. Most of which was his love for power. That the death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Uh, exact revenge from stone to sand. And we're at the Holy Order of the Knights Dragoon, north of the Isles of Ark. He fought for her liver and onions in jalapeno spicy beans. Some medicine, <laughs> my lord. May he rest in pieces. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. Ooh. Excuse me? Be nice to that kid, dude. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. 
The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Oh, hey. I did not see that kiss coming. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> I mean, that's true. <laughs> kind of impossible at this point. But I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... <sighs> yep. Looks like we get to team up with Bahamut. Yes, my prince. At least that's the feeling I'm getting here. I must go to the palace. Already your steed. What is it now? Hmm. Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? Mm. I thought you long dead. Eighteen, at least. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Some super long cutscenes, too. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. I love this. <laughs> but holy cow. That's a lot to digest.
So I'm happy that I had a longer stream opportunity to get through that in, in one swoop. <laughs> ah, Torgol, good boy. Out of the shadow. <sighs> I'd better give Otto the good news. We're definitely going to save here. And I want to get one thought out in the open because it kind of struck me throughout the whole battle. And there was the thing where uh, we took the Titan's arms. We took his arms in the first battle. We took them in the second battle. But one can argue that metaphorically we took his arms in the battle against Benedicta because we deprived him of her embrace, which is a way of taking his arms. I love this whole thematic follow through that they've done there. I don't know if that was an intentional thought of the director and the story writers, but I just couldn't help but think uh, how that all kind of ties together. It's just so good. <laughs> this game is phenomenal. Uh, is there a way to check, I wonder, of how many hours we have in on this? Because that might have to be where we end stream today, because it feels like a really good stopping point. I just want to look at a couple things here before we do. Definitely have enough to master the limit break, which might be a good thing to do. And let's go ahead and save again. We can go ahead and overwrite uh, our existing save there. I suppose I could always look at the PlayStation thing to see how many hours we have in uh, there. Um, we have 31 hours into the game. I'm not sure how long the uh, the story is. It says we're 63% of the way through, but I've heard that's a bit misleading. But I'm excited to finish this uh, and then also do the DLC. Um, how that lines up with the release of Rebirth uh, might be an interesting question. Uh, but we'll see. We might be able to get some longer streams of this in January. My goodness, what a game. What an absolute thrill ride. Uh, Square Enix, you've really outclassed yourself on this one. <laughs> this is so good. This might be my game of the year. Uh, and again, I haven't played Baldur's Gate. I'm sure it's a wonderfully crafted game and enjoyable. Uh, a lot of people are big fans of that. So I'm not discounting any other games, but being a huge Final Fantasy fan, this is just scratching all the right uh, itches uh, as far as... Uh, it's like Final Fantasy meets Game of Thrones meets Devil May Cry. And it's just everything I could have asked for. And more. <laughs> it is so good. Um, pardon me. I will probably finish gushing about this game uh, while we find somebody to raid out to. So uh, let's hop on over here and give you some puppies. <laughs> uh, also want to uh, thank everybody. Uh, Raspy for the resub at six months. Thank you very, very much. Hopefully uh, you're having a great week so far if you're still hanging about in chat. And uh, big hearts to you. Thank you for telling me to eat a sub, and that's what I might go get for lunch today. Uh, Arthur, thanks for the new uh, custom sound alert. Also, uh, thanks to the new follows this morning. And Panda, thank you for the gifted sub. Much, much appreciated. You are far too kind. So, with that being said, where are we going to raid to? Uh, I'm not sure where Prince Leo is at in the game. I know he's streaming uh, Final Fantasy 16 today. I don't want to uh, get myself spoiled, but we might uh, just do a quick little raid and, raid and fade. Uh, otherwise, uh, Dr. Leandra is playing some Golden Sun. Uh, Snooky Shogun's doing some Resident Evil 2. 
Uh, Piece of Pizza is doing some retro, likely some more Super Mario 2. Akira is playing some Resident Evil. Uh, Kiraga is playing some Tales of Vesperia. I don't usually get a raid out this late in the day, so I'm having a lot more choice <laughs> in who we get a raid out to. Uh, let me also take a peek at the stream team to see who's online from the Treppies. You have a wonderful day and weekend too, Raspy. And those uh, that want to join us this weekend, uh, I am doing a long stream tomorrow as well, a charity stream for the National Children's Alliance, or the NCA. And uh, it's an organization that helps uh, combat uh, child abuse and get children out of abusive situations and getting them back on track to just being a kid. So uh, we're doing some fundraising for them in partnership with uh, the stream team, the Treppies. So we are doing that tomorrow. They have already raised a large number of funds for that organization um, over this year. So I'm happy to uh, be doing a little bit of uh, help with that tomorrow, if I can. We're going to do some Kingdom Hearts, uh, some Super Bosses, some Platinum Trophy Hunting, and if time allows, we're going to do some more Wind Waker, just uh, working through some of the side quests and heart containers. And then outside of that, we're going to do some community games with some marbles and some Jackbox. I know I promised Jackbox during the last uh, long stream, and I uh, didn't do that. So we're definitely, that is part of the stream tomorrow for sure. All right, so we could also uh, raid over to uh, Liv. Uh, Liv is also playing some Liza P. So uh, what are you guys thinking? You know, I, I think uh, Prince Leo it looks like he might be doing some side questing. So let's uh, let's go over there. I think that's where we're going to go. Uh, I might have to just quick raid and run to avoid spoilers, but uh, it's been a while since we've uh, raided the royalty known as Prince Leo. Give him a quick shout out so you know where we're heading. There we are. And we'll be back with you tomorrow for the charity stream starting at 9 a.m. Central Time. I'll put some stuff out on the socials so you're aware of uh, everything that's going to happen. So if you want to keep up with us on there, there's the link to all my socials. So you can keep up with us outside of stream uh, with all that stuff, including the Discord. And yeah, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And also, uh, other than that, there's one more stream outside of that on Monday, more Elden Ring. And that will be the last of our streams for 2023. I am taking a bit of time away to go visit family. I'm going to try to do some uploads to YouTube and things that will come out uh, over the holiday break. So there's at least a little bit of content <laughs> and uh, we'll plan to return uh, in early January. But again, thank you all very, very much for joining this morning for a long stream. Thanks for joining this week. Uh, I did a long stream on Wednesday night, too. So I appreciate everybody kind of hanging in there for that stuff. Uh, much, much appreciated. So we should uh, kick off a raid, right? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to raid over to Prince Leo. Make sure you grab one of the raid messages. Uh, first one for subs. Second one for non-subs. Uh, have a great break, too. Hey, I appreciate that, Raspy. I appreciate that very, very much. And with all that being said, everybody, please take care of yourselves, okay? Uh, enjoy the holidays. Take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Uh, take care of each other. Little kindness goes a long, long way, especially uh, this time of year and the Northern Hemisphere where it's a little bit darker. <laughs> we'll have uh, our daylight starting to uh, gain in strength here in about a week. Our days will start to get longer in the Northern Hemisphere. So until then, uh, be some brightness in somebody's life, okay? And until tomorrow, where I'll join you with some more coffee, some marbles, some good fun during a charity stream. Um, have a fantastic Final Fantasy Friday, everybody. Big cheers. Thank you.